Hey guys, here's the new Apple again, and today I'm making a video showing you guys how to make all of your icon docs into HD pixels or Retina pixels. So you're gonna follow some of the steps I'll say. So if you forgot something or you mislead, make sure to go ahead and double check in the description box. I'll put everything in there. So make sure to go ahead and double check. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into the video. So first, of course, you have to jailbreak, as you can see. If you haven't jailbreak, make sure to go ahead and click the box right here. And it will lead you to my jailbreak video. Showing you guys how to jailbreak a 4.0 above firmware iDevices. So once you finish jailbreak, you're going to open Cydia, of course. And then just wait for it. So once Cydia is finished loading, you're going to go ahead and click Manage, Sources, Edit, Add, and you're going to add this source called repo.insanelyi.com. So I'll put this source name down there in the description box. So if this doesn't work, I also have a second backup link, and then I'll also put that source name in the description box. So make sure to go ahead and check that out. So once you finish adding the source, go ahead and go search and type in I I Retina. So you're gonna download this I Retina from Insanely I Repo. Okay. And the second thing you have to download is called Mobile Terminal. Okay, mobile terminal, and you're gonna find the iOS iOS four one, not the iPad one, just the normal iOS four one. And then the last thing you have to download is called Erica Erica Utilities, and it's from Big Boss. Also, go ahead and download that. So once you finish install all of these packages, go ahead and go back to your main screen. And open up the terminal app or whatever you call it. Okay, so it's open. As you can see, iPod Touch 4, mo mobile, and uh, Money S. So first, you gotta type in S U, and then click Return. And then you gotta type in Alpine. Click Return. And then you're gonna type in I Retina, and then click Return. So don't need to worry. I'll put all of these names also in the description box. So if you're not sure, not clear, go ahead and check that out. And then you'll see one, two, three, four, zero. All you have to do is just type in one, and then click type in Y, and it will start install some of the things. And just put it there and it will do the work by itself. So as you can see it's pretty much done. You gotta click Y and it will start respring. And all you have to do is just wait until your iPod reopen. So once your iPod restart, you're gonna slide unlock. So as you can see, the pixels between the modding before the iRetina and after the modding of iRetina. So the left side, the pixel is kind of messed up, but the right side is a really clear Retina pixels. So you can really see the difference, and I think that is a really cool modding on your iPod Touch or iPhone 4. So, um, that's pretty much it. If you like this video, make sure to click the thumbs up. Or you can favorite this video. Uh, comment if you have any question. And if this really worked for you, um, definitely go ahead and subscribe. Just click the button up there. And I will see you in the next video.